Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the supratentorial tumors of the lobes of the cerebrum. So we'll speak about astrocytomas and oligodendro gliomas. Let me show you the types of cells in the nervous system. So you've got the astrocytes, which are the supporting cells, and you've got the oligodendrocytes, which act as an attachment or help in the formation of myelin sheets in the neurons. We will start with astrocytoma. So it is a benign tumor of the astrocytes, and it is the most common glioma. You have four different grades. Grade one is pilocytic astrocytoma, which is slow growing, benign with good prognosis. Then you have the second grade, low grade or fibrillary astrocytoma, which is benign as well, but it can evolve into malignant or higher grades. Then you have third grade, which is anaplastic astrocytoma. The fourth grade is glioblastoma multiforme. It is the most malignant primary brain tumor, the most invasive. It can spread to other parts of the brain and can become very large. This is the gross anatomy for glioblastoma multiforme. You can see how invasive and large it can get. Here is an MRI T1 weight image. You can see uh, next to the foramen magnum, there is a mass. The T2 weight image will look like this. If you remember from my last video, black and white. And then if you have a T1 plus contrast, it's going to be more defined and look like this. Now, this is a pilocytic astrocytoma. You can see in the right frontal lobe. This is CT. On MRI T1 weight, here is an astrocytoma in the left lobe next to the lateral ventricles. In T2 weight image, And finally, T1 plus contrast. Here is a sagittal T1 plus contrast MRI just above the cerebellum. A little bit about astrocytomas. So low grade ones are more prevalent in children and the high grade ones in adults. And children more commonly get astrocytomas at the base of the brain, so infratentorial. Glioblastoma multiforme is more prevalent in men and in older people. The signs and symptoms are seizures, headaches, and nausea. Also, depending on where the tumor is located, you can have different symptoms. Moving on to oligodendrogliomas, the cells that make up myelin. So you have only two grades, grade two, which is normal, and grade three, which is the anaplastic. They frequently occur with calcifications, so you can see them on CT. Here you can see that it has invaded the corpus callosum. Here is an MRI T1 weight image. You can see that the corpus callosum has been invaded. And here is T2 weight image of the same tumor. It is rare in children and mostly presents with seizures. Okay, let's rewind. So astrocytomas, four grades, pilocytic, fibrillary, anaplastic, and glioblastoma multiforme. Seizures, headaches, and nausea. For oligodendrogliomas, you have grade two, which is oligodendroglioma, and grade three, which is anaplastic oligodendroglioma, presenting mainly with seizures. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.